Hey there, everyone. So I wanted to come to you this morning or um, just let you know <clears throat> we have a lot of new members that um, have asked me, how do I get started? What do I do? What's my next step? Um, okay, so I thought I would share with you some really basic um, pocket letter information that, you know, brand new members may not know, along with a couple of tips. So first of all, I, I've been asked a lot, where do I get my, my sleeves from? These come from, uh, they come from Target and they are in your, in your sports card section, uh, usually up at the front. And, uh, you, you, I think I paid, I don't know, maybe six bucks for the, for the package and it's got 70 pages in there. So a pocket letter is made with one of these pages. And just before I go on, <clears throat> excuse me, um, pocket letters were created by Janet Lane. And you can always go look up her YouTube channel, Janice Lane, and she'll give you the whole rundown on um, how and why she created pocket letters. But anyway, so this is the package of pocket letters that, um, of, uh, the uh, nine pocket pages that I use. So uh, I am going to just make one um, insert with you, uh, just so you can get an idea of what it's like. So I'm gonna take this package away and I'm gonna show you, of course, this is our pocket letter page. And your uh, inserts go, they go right here. Okay, and I pre-cut some so that the video isn't so long. So they are cut to three and a half, which is the long ways, by two and a half uh, wide. And then they would go in your pocket that way. Okay, and this is what you're going to be decorating. So we're going to make one of those today. And let me remove, remove this plastic so it's not so shiny. Okay, so, um, okay, pocket lettering is not about taking your square and we're going to work with um, an under the sea type uh, thing today. Uh, we are, you can't, you know, just put a sticker on there. Let me cut a sticker out. <clears throat> cut that sticker out so we can work with one sticker. Okay. So you can't just take one sticker. Well, you could, but it's not really a pocket letter. <clears throat> Do that number and call it a pocket letter. It, you've got to do more than put one sticker, two stickers, and call it done. Um, so I'm going to give you a few tips and things that I use for my pocket letters um, to make them prettier. I mean, your, your partner deserves something more than a couple stickers on a, or one sticker. I've seen a lot of them with just one sticker. Um, they deserve more than this. So when I start my pocket letter, of course, I choose the paper and the theme that I'm going to use. And these are just the scraps. So they kind of match, but they kind of don't. So you could leave it like that and decorate the entire front. I like to kind of map mine. I like to put another paper in front and just have this peeking out. Or, um, or like I said, you can leave it like that. Um, you can round your corners. You can round your corners and make them look like that. Or you can mix match. You can put a square with a round. Or you can do a round with a square just to add a, add a little more interest. So <clears throat> normally I'll do like solid or something that's not too busy in the background because it's gonna get covered anyway. We're just gonna use the edges. For this one, I am going to go this way. No, I'm gonna go this way. I'll go this way for this one, okay? So let me remove these. And I always have my glue ready to go. You can do glue, you can do, um, you can do 
a tape runner, you can, any kind of adhesive, adhesive is good. And you know, you don't have to like cover the, the entire thing. To me, that, that'll hold right there. So I'm gonna put that down because that's the way I'm going to start my pocket letter, okay? And normally what I like to do is I like to just run a little card over it just to make sure that it's flat. If I, you know, if I have the time, I will take this and I will put it inside a book just so when it dries, it'll dry totally flat. Although if you spread it out and continue to work, it should be okay. All right? And that's my JCPenney card that, um, okay, I haven't used in forever. But anyway, so, okay, so that looks much better as it is already. What did I do with my little fish? I put my fish down peeps and I don't know where. So anyway, that looks much better than, here it is. That already looks better, okay? But that's still not, not enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I'm going to, you don't need a whole bunch of supplies, but I'm going to try to make it, so these washi tapes were given to me in a rack, or not in a rack, I'm sorry, in a swap. And I kind of like this one because it's got the anchors on there. Um, this one's got the pretty blue colors. Uh, let me see. This one kind of looks like starfish. This one is out of my uh, out of my stash. So what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to work with a with a different uh, sticker. So I think I'm going to go with this starfish. I'm going to cut him out first. I'm not gonna, um, and notice that we have little bubbles there for the uh, the water. I mean, for the air, we have air bubbles. So I'm going to cut this one out. Normally I don't, <clears throat> but I wanna show you, so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, so you can see what it looks like, okay. So I am going to use this little starfish. I don't know where I'm going to place them yet, but this is what I'm using. Okay, so I think I am going to go, I kind of, I really do like this. I think I'm going to go with a piece of this washi tape. And you don't need a whole lot of washi. I am going to put a piece of washi oh, about right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece of this washi off, okay? And then I am going to cut the little tails on there. I don't know what they're called, but, uh, whoops, wrong way. We're gonna go this way, okay? So this is what I'm using right here. I'm going to put that washi right here. And you can, I mean, you don't have to use washi. You can use ribbon. You can use whatever you have on hand. So there's the start. Um, and I really do like this anchor. I was debating on the, uh, the little polka dots or the anchor, but I think I am going with the anchor. One thing, it matches this and it matches my starfish. So I'm going to go with the anchor. So... On this one, I'm not going to go quite as long as I did on the last one, but I am going to cut a small piece off. I hope I stay in frame. Let me move this a little bit. Okay. And then the light is, you know, I y'all know I have really bad lighting. Okay. So I'm going to cut a piece of anchor. Okay. Let's save that. And as you can see, you don't need a whole lot of washi for um, pocket letters. You know, that I mean, unless you're going to put washi on every single one. You Again, you don't want to um, do every single pocket letter this the same. You want to make it look, you know, kind of different. Oh, I was going to cut it wrong again. Okay. And I like to put the little tails on mine just to make it a little more interesting. So I am going to take this tail and I am going to start at the top and I'm going to put it down. Okay. And I'm going to put it down to add 
to that right there okay so now I need to decide so even there right there that's not good enough so we're gonna start adding to it I am going to add this little starfish probably here at the bottom because if you remember we have um, we still have bubbles so I think I'm going to put this little guy here at the bottom okay guys see how much better that looks I mean we've got the background paper going on we've got the washi on the side we've got the sticker even that right there is you know it's kind of it's it's kind of cute I kind of like it but since I have a whole thing of stickers here I am going to take a few bubbles and I am going to put bubbles throughout Even that right there looks so, so cute. I may even put, let me see if they have a really small fish here. I am going for a little bit of contrast. I'm going to take, let me see, do I want that one? I don't know if I want a fish. I'm going to put that fish right there. Just because it's got that pink and it'll give it that pop of color. there look at that guys I mean you can let it go right there it, it could be done right there but I have this um, twine that I had gotten at uh, Tuesday morning and it's more of a yarn it says twine but it feels more more like a yarn but anyway <clears throat> they have twine at the Dollar Tree for you know like you know a dollar but they have I think a three pack of twine so I mean you don't have to go this is just because I was in there and I use twine on other projects what I'm going to do is I made a little you know just a little twine um, bow so I'm gonna take that little bow and I'm gonna put it right there right there okay guys and honestly you, you wouldn't even have to put it on the card itself if you wanted. I mean, if you didn't want to. You could actually put your little card in. And you can put your, your twine on the outside. It'll give it a little more, um, def um, not definition. It'll give it a little more texture, a little, you know, it'll lift it off the page a little bit. But I'm not going to do that. I do that kind of often. I decorate... Some of the decorations will be on the outside, on the plastic, and then some of them, you know, of course, will be on my card. So I'm going to take, my, my hot glue gun is ready. I'm going to take some, uh, just a little dab of hot glue. And I don't know if you could use, I mean, you probably could use wet glue, but um, hot glue is going to make it stain. There we go, guys. We are done. And it didn't take that long. It is just, we need to add a little more interest to our pocket letter inserts versus just putting a sticker on there. And you see, it didn't take very long at all. Um, so I, uh, I'm going to share with you, I'm in a private swap with a group of ladies. And um, there's, um, I think, maybe nine of us. Anyway, um, so it is through Messenger, and I tell you guys all the time to please, please, please stay in touch with your partners. It's super important. Um, it, it really is, especially to a partner that is uh, always wants to make sure they're not going to be late. They want to have contact with their car partner so they'll know that the, so their partner will know that they're not going to flake. You know various reasons so anyway for this this for this one group that I'm in you know what I do and not just for that one group but I do it for the entire messenger I will turn off my notifications at night when I'm around uh, when I'm going to bed because you know sometimes some of us stay up late and if we see someone uh, responding to something we'll will normally respond right back so 
you know, usually I will turn off my notifications because I am going to bed and I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be uh, wakened by a member, you know, that may have sent something because they were up, you know, because we don't expect you to look at it right away and respond right away, but we do send them out. So guys, turn off your notifications so you, you know, so you're not bothered when you don't want to be bothered and then just turn it right back on in the morning. It's, you know, it's not, it takes two seconds to get that done. I do it every day. Turn it off in the morning, uh, at night and turn it on in the morning. I mean, that way nobody gets, um, you know, irritated at the fact that they just got a message and they thought maybe it was you know, something, some kind of emergency or anything. But anyway, guys, that is my tip for the day. Please make sure that, um, you know, if, if you don't want to be bothered during the night, please make sure you turn off your notifications. That way, I mean, if we're still asleep, we can be a little grumpy and maybe respond not so nicely. So uh, that would be my tip for the day. But anyway, so here we go, guys. And that is good to go. At least it is for me. You know, there's so many different options than, you know, just putting one sticker on there. And it, it just honestly doesn't take long at all. So guys, let me know what you think. Um, and I will be talking to everyone later. Thanks a lot, guys.